The International Swaps and Derivatives Association is a trade organization of participants in the market for over-the-counter derivatives. It is headquartered in New York, and has created a standardized contract to enter into derivatives transactions. In addition to legal and policy activities, ISDA manages FPML, an XML message standard for the OTC derivatives industry. ISDA has more than 820 members in 57 countries. Its membership consists of derivatives dealers, service providers and end users. History ISDA was initially created in 1985 as the International Swap Dealers Association and subsequently changed its name switching swap dealers to swaps and derivatives. This change was made to focus more attention on their efforts to improve the more broad derivatives markets and away from strictly interest rate swap contracts. In 2009 a New York Times article mentioned that in 2005 the ISDA allowed rule changes to CDO payouts that would benefit those who bet against mortgage-backed securities, like Goldman Sachs, Deutsche Bank, and others. ISDA has offices in New York, London, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Washington DC, Brussels and Singapore. It has more than 800 member firms from six continents. The current chief executive officer is Robert G. Pickle, who joined ISDA in 1997. ISDA Master Agreement There are two basic forms of master agreement single jurisdiction, currency and multiple jurisdiction, currency. One of these documents is generally combined with a schedule to set out the basic trading terms between the parties. Each subsequent trade is then recorded in a confirmation which references the master agreement and schedule. The terms of the schedule are often negotiated, and many firms have preferred versions of the schedule. According to Financial Times reporter Stacy Marie Ishmael, the master agreement is fundamental to and provides a template for the derivatives market, ISDA has also drafted a Tehorvat Master Agreement in cooperation with the international Islamic financial market, with the aim of standardizing derivatives transactions under Islamic law. Versions The ISDA Master Agreement was first published in 1992, and a second edition was published in 2002. The second edition was drafted in response to market difficulties in the late 1990s, and could be adopted either in a unified form or a standard form amendments to the first edition. Key changes in the second edition include shortening the grace period for payment defaults from three business days to one business day, refer section 5 of 2002 version, introduction of a force majeure provision as a termination event. Introduction of a set-off provision, included in the 2002 version in Section 6. Conformation of jurisdiction clause to the Brussels regime. Introduction of close-out amount. On April 8, 2009, ISDA introduced further compulsory modifications known as the Big Bang Protocol. The key changes introduced by this protocol include introduction of auction settlement to eliminate the need for credit event protocols to settle CDs transactions, automatic incorporation of determinations committee resolutions into the terms of standard CDs contracts, Look back provisions, also known as backstop dates, which institute a common standard effective date for CDs transactions. The protocol also introduced more standardized terms in order to limit the scope of negotiation in individual CDs transactions thus making individual contracts more fungible in trading. ISDA's report commissioned by the UK Financial Services Authority on behalf of the International Group of OTC Derivative Supervisors asked ISDA in October 2009 to conduct a broad market review of bilateral collateralization practices for OTC derivatives to facilitate better understanding of current market practice. 
especially as it relates to the different types of counterparties active in the market, netting possibly the most important aspect of the ISDA. Master agreement is that the master agreement and all the confirmations entered into under it form a single agreement. This is very important as it allows the parties to an ISDA master agreement to aggregate the amount sowing by each of them under all of the transactions outstanding under that ISDA master agreement and replace them with a single net amount payable by one party to the other. Netting, dealt with under Section 2 of the ISDA master agreement allows the parties to net out amounts payable on the same day and in the same currency. The more important use of netting is close-out netting under Section 6 of the ISDA Master Agreement. Pursuant to this section, when an ISDA Master Agreement is terminated, the value of each of the terminated transactions is assessed and converted into the termination currency and any outstanding unpaid amounts are taken into account. The settlement amounts and unpaid amounts are added up and a single figure in the termination currency is determined payable by one party or the other. The enforceability of the close-out netting provisions is absolutely vital to financial institutions active in the derivatives market since the ability to net allows them to allocate capital only against the net figure they would have to pay on close out of an ISDA master agreement rather than the gross amount. ISDA has obtained legal opinions from all important jurisdictions confirming the effectiveness of the close-out netting provisions in those jurisdictions. Members of ISDA are entitled to rely on these opinions. ISDA also produces a model netting act which can be adopted by jurisdictions where close-out netting does not work effectively at present. Credit Support Annex ISDA also produces a Credit Support Annex which further permits parties to an ISDA master agreement to mitigate their credit risk by requiring the party which is out of the money to post collateral corresponding to the amount which would be payable by that party were all the outstanding transactions under the relevant ISDA master agreement terminated. Collateral other than cash is usually discounted for risk, that is, the pledger would have to post collateral in excess of the potential settlement amount. ISDA FIX from 1998 until August 2014, ISDA was responsible for releasing a series of interest rate swap reference rates for four currencies under the name ISDAFIX. Following rate manipulation scandals, these rates are now administered by the Intercontinental Exchange. Further, the Swiss francs rate is no longer reported. Credit Events and Determinations Committees ISDA has five determinations committees, each having jurisdiction over a specific region of the world. Each committee consists of ten voting dealers and five voting non-dealer asset managers. The committees are make official, binding determinations regarding the existence of credit events and succession events, which may trigger obligations under a credit default swap contract. Since July 2009, the primary means of resolving a credit event is auction settlement, where holders of applicable instruments auction their instruments to potential buyers at a set price. In March 2012, ISDA issued a statement declaring that Greece, through passing legislation that forces losses on all its private creditors, has triggered the payment on default insurance contracts, thus instigating a credit event. The ISDA said the use of collective action clauses to amend the terms of Greek law governed bonds issued by the Hellenic Republic such as the right of all holders of the affected bonds to receive payments has been reduced definitions. ISDA also creates industry standards for derivatives and provides legal definitions of terms used in contracts. An example is the 1999 ISDA credit derivatives definitions, which provide basic definitions for credit default swaps, total return swaps, credit-linked notes and other credit derivative transactions.
A controversy resulted over the definition of a restructuring event in connection with the August 2000 restructuring of US$2.8 billion United States dollars of debt by an insurance company. This prompted complaints from protection sellers in credit default swaps, who had to compensate for an event that was seen as normal in the credit business. There was also a fear of a conflict of interest, since protection buyers had nothing to lose by agreeing to restructuring.